What's up, Hype Hunters? So today we're going to be trying out something new. Electric car sharing! And what she said was electric car sharing. Right guys, today I have a really bad ulcer, so half my face is like paralyzed and can't move. And I'm in a lot of pain, but my commitment to the show is I'm still here suffering. So today Ross will take most of the lines and I'll be here for the shits and giggles. Okay, so today we're going to be checking out car sharing and it already exists in other parts of the world, but only just reach our shores. So let's try it out and see if it's worth the hype. I felt kind of sad when she didn't say that with me. Let me try again. Do it. To see if it's worth, worth the hype. Nice. Okay, so if you don't know what car sharing is, it's kind of similar to bike sharing. So you book yourself a car on the app, you drive to your destination, and then you pay for the car based on the time you used. So the main difference for car sharing is that you actually have to book a return parking spot. It's not like bikes where you can just park it anywhere. For these cars, you have to return it to the specific parking lot because they actually have charging stations there. Yeah, and the reason why is also because all the car sharing cars are electric cars. So they don't run on petrol, which is better for the environment. But um, it also means that if they're not charged, they just don't work. So the company that started this car sharing service in Singapore is called Blue SG. And just like the bike sharing app, you have to download the app to book a car. So when you sign up for the service, there are two subscribers models you can like pick from. One is a yearly model for $15 a month but you pay less per minute so you pay about 33 cents a minute. Yeah, the other one is a weekly subscription where you don't have to pay anything upfront at all but you do have to pay for per minute usage at 50 cents a minute with a minimum of 15 minutes rental. That means if you drive the car from point A to point B and you only take 5 minutes, you still have to pay for the full 15 minutes at 7.50. If you look at an overview of the map, it looks like there are not that many stations available right now but bear in mind that the service just launched like a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. They probably add more as time goes along. Mm -hmm. The nearest it seems to be um, near Bugis is at Tan Kilan Street. Once confirmed, your reservation is valid for 30 minutes. If your reservation expires, a penalty of $5 will be applied. So if you book a car, you better get there within 30 minutes. Otherwise, you pay $5 for nothing. Let's book it. Okay, let okay. you book the parking spaces. Uh, I'm not tech savvy. It's, it's so just quick, quick it's use. It's so scary. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Reserve a parking space. So our return station is at Sultan Gate, which is near Haji Lane. Let's hurry and get to the car. So we're here at the Tang Kui Lan Street Station. And um, basically, we're going to show you now how to activate and use your car. Yeah, you this see? is what the charging station looks like. And the blue light means your car is in reserve. So this one, nobody reserved it, so it's green. So you either pay your Nets Flash Pay or your Easling card with this. So we tap the card that we used. This is the car we're going to drive, but it's really, really important to check the car to make sure that there are no like dents or scratches before you unplug it. So we'll just check really carefully. If there's like a scratch and you didn't do it, then who's going to pay for it? Obviously, they'll think that you did it, so then you might end up having to pay for a scratch that you didn't do. So over here with the blue blinking light, that's where you would tap your card again. Yep, okay, so it looks green. Green light, so we're going to unplug the car now. We're going to unplug it here, and I pull it out. I'm going to put this back in the machine right here. And now we can drive! This car is so dirty. Guys, come on. It's only a few days old. There's like mud and everything in here. Hello. So I'm guessing someone used this car to transport something like a flower pot or something. But if you're going to do that, please be considerate and maybe put newspaper or plastic. The car's at 86% battery right now. Wow, it's really like a golf buggy. I feel like the brake and the accelerator is not very sensitive like a car. The pedals are a bit stiffer. So if you're like the sort who hasn't driven a lot, it might feel a bit funny. So there's a weird whirring sound like fur, fur, but I guess it's good, it's safe because maybe the car isn't that powerful, but maybe let's try it since we It is not powerful. I'm stepping full brake and it's taking forever. If you drive a lot and you've driven many different cars, this is actually a pretty okay car to drive. All the functions are pretty basic. Everything that you need is there. For me, I'm a relatively new driver and I don't drive regularly. So if you're like someone like me, I don't know if this is like a really good um, idea because most of the charging stations that I saw were in the CBD and the CBD is not the most friendly for new drivers because people are mean on the roads and they like, don't let you cut. I don't know, I feel like it would be quite dangerous for someone who's not like a seasoned driver to try this. It's raining so much, I think we're just gonna find a parking lot and chill there first. Okay, so I just like changed our parking reservation. I cancelled it from Southern Gate because there's no shelter there. So you can see the front view mirror is getting all foggy from the aircon and the rain temperature. So, the aircon really sucks in this car. It's so warm, it's giving off warm air. The windows are all fogged up, can't really see, so it is pretty scary. And I know I have to press some like heating thing. It should be one of these, but you see when you press it, it doesn't show whether it's on or off. So that sucks. 
Okay, so we finally found solace in an underground car park. I'm just gonna say what a horrible experience. It was like so dangerous, we couldn't see out of the windows at all. I know that some cars fog up when it rains, you know, difference in temperature and all, but the fogging up of this car was pretty terrible. I think it's pretty dangerous for someone who hasn't driven a lot. Uh, I would definitely recommend for you to just pull over and just wait out the rain. But then, what's the point of getting a car and trying to like, have that convenience and like I guess not spend so much on taxis. I think it might actually be more inconvenient. Just now I was like perspiring because I was nervous but now it's like the aircon in this car sucks. So like well perspiring because it's hot. There's only three uh, temperatures cold, so-so and heat. Why do we even need heat in Singapore? There's like a heat function. We're still paying 50 cents per minute right now guys by the way. And, and we're gonna see how much our bill totals to when we return the car. Alright, so the rain stopped. We're gonna try again. Driving not allowed. Stop engine and pass badge. So I'm gonna see if I tap the cut again. See if it works. If that's what they mean. There you go, it was a blue light. To start, turn the key all the way. No, driving, driving not allowed. allowed. Call, call. There's a call button there. Nothing. I press the call button and nothing. I can't even call for help. Stop engine and pass badge. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Huh? I'm gonna assume that the badge is this card. Okay. Ready to go. So finally, let's get moving. Okay, so I just booked the parking space and we are going to go back to Tang Kui Lan, which is nearby. And because we're parking in town, it's a total of 3.20 even though we park for less than an hour. Now let me out. Insert card. Wow! wow. Okay, so the car rolls like a manual car backwards. Um, I'm gonna let go. I have the foot brake on and it still rolls back. See, it still rolls back and my handbrake is on. This is not a very safe car, guys. I'm trying to figure out how much it costs um, to rent a car for a whole day. I think um, so far online it seems about $80 to so $100. So I'm going to compare later to see if it's more worth it to just get a whole car. Yeah, actually the GPS on the car does tell you where your reserve parking lot is. So uh, I guess if you don't have like a GPS, it's fine. There's only one slot, so I'm going to assume that that's our spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just checking that we have everything because once we lock the car, it's locked. So make sure you don't leave anything behind. And if you leave something behind, you have to open it again for minimum 15 minutes, 7.50. It's just so not worth it. Okay, I think we're all good. Don't forget like your cash card and everything. Shut the door, plug it in. Okay, okay it's charging. It's in. Your rental has ended. Thank you for using our service. It's $53.50! We had the car for 1 hour 47 minutes. And that's not including our parking payment. Yeah, so we also had to pay for parking. Feeling pretty traumatised from that whole driving experience. I just feel like because just less than 2 hours already $53. Like, can you imagine how much it adds up? I'm sure you guys can guess what we're about to say. This car sharing service is not, not worth, worth the hype. hype. I just think it's really dangerous. Yes, you know, some of you, I know you're going to be like, yeah, you know, you guys are lousy drivers, you don't know how to use it properly, you don't know how to utilise it as best as you can. But just from that one experience, I really think it's definitely safer to go with a taxi or an Uber or a Grab or um, to rent a car. Also, I just want to talk about the dude that used the car before us left it in a bad state. Okay, I wouldn't say it's really, really bad, but come on, the car is just a few days old and already it was like dirty. Please, just keep it clean for the next person using it. So yeah, you didn't scratch the car outside, you didn't damage it outside, but you made it very inconvenient for the next people coming in. Luckily, I wasn't wearing like anything white because it's, it was literally mud. It was dried mud in the back of the car. So okay, I think that brings us to the end of our very traumatic episode. Don't forget to download the Click Network app if you haven't already done so, so you can watch all our videos right when they come out. Bye!